where's the year? It's straight. It's really straight. This is good. This is good. Welcome back to another studio vlog. In my previous video, I did quite a number of sharing through subtitle. Recently, I received some feedback. It is pretty difficult to enjoy watching the candle carving process and at the same time reading the subtitle. I went over to watch my video a few times and agree with the feedback too. So, I will try to do voiceover again. Please bear with me if I don't sound natural as I am still having some anxiety speaking to a mic. On my last two video, the Christmas calf candles was made with the color scheme created back in 2019. For 2020, I desire to create new color scheme to spice up a dull and depressing year where many people are affected by lockdown due to COVID-19. I was looking for elements that relates with joy, hope and positive vibes. Yes, rainbow! That is what I have selected and this is how this candle is born. Rainbow color reminds me of a Bible verse, Genesis chapter 9, verse 16. Whenever the rainbow appears in the crowds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenants between God and all living creatures of every kind on earth. It reminds me that God is always faithful to us. The day I say yes to God to pick up this new skill to make meaningful baptism candle, a covenant is formed. God has a plan for each of us. If this candle cannot be sold, God has another plan for it. I was hoping to sell 10 pieces of this design. However, it ended up unsold. In the past, I easily dwell in negative emotion for weeks when things do not turn out the way I want it to be. Through these two years of candle carving journey, I have slowly trained myself to be more patient and gradually learn how to look for positive thoughts. Sometimes, I'll google for positive quotes to stop myself from thinking negatively. You might want to give this a try out and hopefully it will be helpful to you too. Everything happens for a reason. It don't happen by coincidence. All I need to do is Trust the Lord, just do my best to keep explore, create, relearn, and do my best. Indeed, God has another plan. This candle end up creating a bulk order opportunities. I received 16 pieces of personalized Bible calf candle order with rainbow color scheme. By far, this is the biggest order I have ever received. Thereafter, I start receiving requests from other customers to have rainbow color scheme but with Santa Claus ornament as a decoration. Without my customer, I will not be able to move on to my third year into candle carving. So I was motivated to create two giveaway. The first giveaway will be in the form of a contest and it will be prioritized only for customers and their gift receiver. This candle will be part of the prize for the contest. Stay tuned in my Instagram over the next week to check out the details for the giveaway contest. There will be another giveaway contest which will be scheduled much later and this will be open to the public. I hope you love how colorful these candles are. I like it.
I always hope that my candles can make a difference. When I receive this message from my customer, I feel so touched by it. It is like an affirmation to my idea of creating a candle that can help to change someone's life. While at the same time, it helps to motivate Christians and Catholics to pray more often. I also feel very comforted to see more customers start trying to light up their candle. While many are still afraid to light up theirs, as they are worried they might destroy the beautiful candle design. For Christian and Catholic, this candle can also serve as a great indicator of how often you are praying. So let's say if you light up your candles while you pray for 15 minutes. By the way, lighting the candles for only 15 minutes will not spoil the candle outer design, as it only burns the inner layer of the candle. When the inner layer of the candle is hardly being used, it is a sign you have not been praying much. However, on the other hand, if you notice that the inner layer of your candle is used up more and more, it is a great sign you have been praying very often. And I hope every one of us is praying more and more. I wish that the Catholic brothers and sisters, as they light up their Bible calf candle, it will also remind them of their covenant with God. For the non-Catholic, I really hope as they light up their rainbow Christmas calf candle, it will bring them lots of joy and happiness. In the month of December, it's a very busy month for me, so it's pretty difficult for me to find times to pray. However, I have learned to make use of my meal time and my sleeping time to pray. I find that this is very helpful. Um, usually, we only do a simple meal prayer, so why not, you know, when you couldn't find times to pray, just prolong your meal prayer slightly longer. So imagine that your prayer for the meal is only 1 minute. I try to extend it to 15 minutes. Uh, give thanks or ask help or you know um, whatever that you need to. Uh, at least it helps you to pray every day, right? And eventually I find that my meal is more delicious and more peaceful after a long prayer. <laughs> and sometimes when... I try to sleep and I find that, oh gosh, I couldn't really fall asleep at all. Um, there are so many thoughts, ideas uh, coming into my brain. I just cannot quiet down my brain and, you know, that's when I'll just kick in prayer. So I'll just lie down in my bed and then I'll have a chit chat with the Lord. And then I'll just tell him what I felt and I just beg him for help. I need a quiet mind so that I can doze off to sleep. And then sometimes it's so horrible, you know, the thoughts will not stop at all. I actually scream for help and I'll just chat with him non-stop. Sometimes I try to do rosary prayer because there are people who tell me that uh, when you ask Mama Mary for help uh, and you do your rosary, it actually helps you to doze off um, faster than you expect. And I don't know whether I doze off fast or not, but I do know that... Uh, I couldn't realize how long I took to pray before I doze off. So uh, I think it actually works. So I hope this can be helpful for you, for people who really can't doze off at night. I really regret creating an extra element here. I feel it looks much better without this spiral twist. Sometimes less is better, but so often we end up complicate things and create troubles for ourselves. I 
I was working endlessly for two full days without sleeping to complete these 16 candles. I end up so exhausted, I don't have the energy to set up the lighting. So I'm very sorry for the poor video quality. And I think my brain has already stopped working. And it's kind of weird that I took this clip in portrait mode instead of landscape mode, the inner layer of this candle is created with rainbow color scheme. As for the bottom, it's created with various kind of colors. I created a new colors in this batch. It looks like a tail color. I'm so glad that my customer love it a lot. Thanks for watching this video. If you love it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you soon again. Bye.